Spencer from alexfigures.com and this is my first red light therapy video for 2021 and I'm excited because I have the new Mito Red Light Mito Pro. This is the Mito Pro 1500. It is the top of the range uh, panel from Mito Red Light which is very very cool because if you've seen my 2019 uh, comparison series, Mito Red panel uh, did really really well. But part of the reason it did really, 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 really well was because it was just a simple, no-nonsense, high-powered, low EMF, low flicker panel that came in at a really, really good price point. Now, Moto Red have obviously swung uh, to the other side of the spectrum here by releasing a more of a premium panel, which is this Mito Mod, sorry, Mito Pro range, which incorporates things such as uh, inbuilt timer, uh, multi, multiple wavelengths, um, modular capability, stands option, all those cool things that some of the other panels have been doing for a while. But it's going to be really neat to see how Mito Red have done uh, implementing this into their panel. So this has just arrived, tell a lie, it has actually been here for a few weeks but I've been so busy with a few other things. I haven't even opened it up now so I'm going to do a first impressions, quick unboxing video, show you a few things, have a quick play around with it. Uh, and then later on, once I have used it for a few weeks, I will do a more detailed review. I'll also be using this panel in my upcoming 2021 Red Light Therapy Body Panel Comparison video. So be sure to subscribe to check out those other videos. But in the meantime, hang around and uh, let's see how this panel looks. Here it is, the Mito Pro 1500. I had to turn it around because it was upside down when I opened it up. And I have to tell you, it is very solid. It's rather heavy uh, panel. Same metal framing that the um, casing, sorry, that the, all the panels seem to have these days, the Juves, Platinum LED. Upon initial inspection, it did remind me of both the Platinum LED Biomax and the Juve panels uh, in terms of LED layout and size and shape and everything like that. However, the Juven Biomax have more of a glossy finish. This is a little bit uh, of a, more of a matte finish. Um, on the side, oh, you get the similar vents that the other panels have, the branding, which is cool. Uh, I think it's a little bit thicker than the other panels. Um, and on the back, you have one, two, three, four, five panel, uh, five big fans. Um, which is kind of standard for panels this size. This is the extra wider, extra wide model. This has uh, got 300 LEDs built in. Uh, you can get a smaller one with 150 LEDs and then even a smaller one again with 60 LEDs. It's good to see the inbuilt timer now, which is quite a neat function, being able to go in. I know a while ago I didn't really rate it that much, but it is handy and having a countdown timer on there is cool as well. Uh, you've got big thick plastic feet on it so you can lean against the wall. I'm not going to damage the wall. Uh, and then you've got all the plugs for um, the modular setup. So if you're connecting more of them together, um, you can wire them all in. You've got one central control unit, which is very, very cool. So this is your near infrared and red light setup. Uh, Mito Red typically just use the 660 and 850, that's what their Gen 1 panels use. They've also released what's called their Mito Mod range, which is a black, black cased um, panel, which looks really cool. It's similar to this in terms of design and, and, and some features, however the Mito Mod only has 660 and 850, like the, the original Mito Red panel. The new Mito Pro panel has their four wavelength patent pending um, technology in there. So they're using 630, 660, 830, and 850 nanometer lights. Now, some people say that, you know, those other wavelength, wavelengths aren't beneficial and just a uh, marketing claim, marketing play, but 
I've looked at some of the studies, well, I've looked at the studies and there are some really good um, papers out there showing the benefits of these other wavelengths. Where it gets a little bit interesting is, do they still have the same benefits when they use with other wavelengths, like when you're combining them? I'm not too sure. What I do know though, is I've been using the Biomax from Platinum LED, which also uses multiple wavelengths and I get exceptional results uh, with that panel. So I think it's a good move that they're doing this. Um, not only does it differentiate them a little bit and differentiate the Mito Pro product to the original Mito Red product, because you are getting a few more um, wavelengths in there. Um, but I think, I think the science is there to support it. So that's good to know as well. Uh, what else do we need to know about it? Comes with your power, power cables, uh, comes with the same pulley system that um, has been used in these panels for a couple of years now. Uh, comes with a three and a half mil adapter. That is for if you get multiple panels and you hook them together, that's so you can control it all from one panel. I've done videos on all of these sort of things like the modular setup. Uh, before so just check out my other videos it comes with some eye goggles i personally don't use them um, i just don't look directly at the lights and it comes with some cables metal cables for the uh, top so you can hang it on this pulley system and it also comes with this door hook so you can clamp it this on top of the door use the pulley system and uh away you go so looking at this it's the same problem that i always have with these door hooks three size options this being the biggest one the new mito mod range uh uses uh, incorporates all the same good stuff from the mito read company so we've got high high radiance which is your power output low emf low flicker but what's new with the mito pro compared to the original series well we have the modular capability so you can clip on another panel on here for instance you could get the smaller 300 and clip it on there um or you can put another one of these on top and and go head to toe uh you can use mobile stands with this series of panels that, um, with the new Mito Pro panel range. So you have the built-in control system and countdown timer, so that's new with the Mito Pro range. Uh, you've got the four wavelengths, which I mentioned before. And also something interesting that I noticed on their website, uh, it's not really marketed or it's not pushed heavily, but they've now got a three-year warranty on these panels. The original panels and even just the standard Mito mod range um, I only have two year warranty, so that's quite an interesting move I, and I think it's a smart move because uh, you spend a lot of money on these panels and you don't want them to you know, give out and then you're stuck with a big piece of metal, right? That you can't, um, you know, you can't get replaced. Speaking of money, what is the price? So this panel here, the 1500, retails for 1150 US dollars. Now if you use code Alex, A-L-E-X, you will save 5% on that. So it brings it down to about $1,100. If you drop down a size to the Mito Pro 750, which is half the size, half the LEDs, you're paying $650 before any discounts. And then if you go down again to the, excuse me, 300 with 60 LEDs, you're paying $300. If you've got the money, as I always say, go with the bigger ones. You're getting bigger treatment area. You're getting more red light therapy, more irradiance, more exposure to the red light therapy in a short amount of time. And you know, it's marginal size difference in terms of uh, taking up wall space and that. So I always think go bigger if, if, you, if you can, unless you want a small one for a particular need, like you want to sit it on a, a desk and you just use it on your face or something like that or your foot. In which case the, the 300 could be a well size. Alright, as you can see that is up and running now. And uh, two things that I noticed. First one is, and this happens every time I, I turn on one of these panels for the first time, it's how bright it is. Like that's ridiculously bright, I don't know if you can see me. Um, but it's good, that means it's good, it's a high powered light. Secondly, it's rather quiet. There is that whir there, five fans, they are big fans though. But it's not, it's not that, you know, like ear piercing were that some of the other panels seem to have. I do test for sound levels in my comparison series, so I will be doing that with this panel, um, and based on that, it's it's probably gonna do really well. Uh, one thing I was a little bit confused with when I turned it on was the panel up there, um, powers on, this is how it looked, right? The control panel. And um, 
When I press mode, you see A1 and A1. Uh, so I don't really know what that meant, but I just hit OK. And what happened was just the red lights came on. So the near infrared lights are through here. Now you can't see near infrared lights, but uh, years of years and years of using these panels, you know when they are working because you will see a very dim red light. So I knew straight away something wasn't um, working as I expected. And then I realized the infrared light wasn't on, so that meant I turned it off, and that's when I started playing around with this mode button. So now what I'm assuming is A is red light and one is near infrared light or, or the other way around sorry uh so because you can choose between them so you can have both on or just one or the other uh, i think it's a little bit confusing maybe they could have put a little label under here saying you know red light and the infrared light or um or, or changing these around so that was instead of an a was like an r and that was an n or something like that another thing a lot of panels do is they have the infrared light plus the red light here so you can see straight away uh, which ones are going another thing though you can tell or at least I can tell the slight color difference in these red LEDs up here so typically with just a 660 and 850 nanometer wavelength light you're you're gonna see a, a standard red light and and with this one because they're using the 630 660 830 and 850 you can see a very slight change. Uh, I mean, again, it's hard to say what this is going to look like on the computer, but I can, I know I can see the slight change. Another thing is time. So I haven't used a time function. Oh, very easy. Just hit time. It adds a minute. How far up does it go? 20 minutes, which seems to be standard for all these panels. I wonder if that's like a safety regulation thing. Um, but anyway, that's what it is. We hit OK, which is also you start, and it counts down. After 20 minutes, I'm assuming it'll turn off. So that's the new Mido Pro 1500, uh, the new top of the range panel from MidoRedLight.com. Um, so far it looks good, uh, ticks all the boxes in terms of what top of the line panel should have. You've got multiple wavelengths in there, you've got inbuilt control panel and timer. You have the ability to choose between red light and the infrared, though it is a little bit confusing but you'll soon figure it out. You've got modular capability, you've got a three year warranty which is better than the standard one and two year that you see with other companies, so that's great. Uh, you got free USA shipping, I don't know if I mentioned that before, but free shipping to continental USA. Not too sure what shipping rates are to your country, it's something I always get asked, and it's just too hard for me. I mean, the video will literally go for half an hour, I'll be going down every single country. So you go in there, put your address in, head over to mitoredlight.com, put your address in, and it should spit out a pretty good, um, or pretty accurate shipping quote. Um, yeah, uh, well priced, well packaged, comes with everything you need. It's it, what I'm thinking with this, my initial impressions. MitoRed previously, prior to this panel being released, was like the really good quality, really high powered, low cost brand. You know, just the no nonsense, no frills, does everything you need in a red light panel and is extremely well priced. This, I think they're still doing that. They've still got that well priced, you know, um, good all round, uh, uh, option, but you've now got a few more of those premium functions, which to be honest, I think will become more of a normal, uh, will become the norm anyway. So the control timer, um, modular capability. The Mido Pro though is probably a step up above the Mido Mod range in the sense that this does have the patent pending for wavelength. So if you, if you do want those multiple wavelengths, then yeah, you spend a little bit extra with this over the Mido Mod. I know it all gets a little bit tricky because there's so many brands out there now and then you've got so many brands and each brand tends to have different product lines and then within those product lines you've got prices and it gets to the point where you're like, oh my God, what do I buy? Like, who do I go with? What do I buy? And that's where you're going to want to watch my upcoming 2021 Red Light Therapy body panel comparison because that's where I'm gonna look at the main uh, panels from all of these companies, I'm gonna test them over a bunch of metrics and we're gonna see which one comes out on top uh, and help you make more of an informed decision. Use discount code Alex, A-L-E-X, you'll save 5%. Hit subscribe below because I will be doing a, a more detailed um, comparison. If you'd like me to compare this with another panel, maybe a Platinum or a Juve or something like that, let me know because I may do that as well. 
um, and I'll definitely be using it in, in the upcoming comparison series. So that's me for now. I'll talk to you soon. Leave a comment below. Um, overall, it's a good, good product. Uh, I, I, I kind of complain, but it will be neat to test it and uh, update you guys all in a couple weeks time.